first of all, roll back into first team action during midweek. How felt coming out of that? Yeah, it was good. Uh, I think the the most important thing for me was to try and uh, get minutes, uh, but to show the manager that you know this is all the hard work I've been doing and, and try and obviously force myself into his plans uh, because you know, the team are doing really well just now. So that's my that's this is where the hard work begins really. Uh, it's obviously the most enjoyable part because it's out in the field and that's why I was brought here. Obviously, everybody knows what a long road back it's been for you, but. How difficult has it been for you personally to balance up the enthusiasm about getting back onto the field in a competitive game with not doing too much? It's it's very difficult because you know you've been you've been controlled um, by the physios and uh, the surgeon for a long period of that, but I think it gets to a point where you know you know your own body and you know exactly what you need to do. So I think uh, now. I've been training every day, every single day. So uh, that was a, you know, a name that I, I wanted to try and do. I didn't want to miss days or anything like that, and uh, take me out here and there. But uh, the physios here, the staff here, have been really, really good because they monitor a lot of your progress, uh, and the technology now is incredible. So, you know, that's helped a lot. But uh, I, I, obviously, when you come back for a long term injury, you just you don't know what's enough. Sometimes, sometimes you don't want to leave the training ground. You know. I mean, it's easy for everyone to look and say, oh, well, physically there's nothing wrong now, you're fully fit, but quite often players across all sports have been in your position say, well, actually, it took the best part of 12 months to get that sharpness back. Is that something you, you can sort of see? Well, I think uh, sometimes you forget where uh, you were as a player before because it's been so long. So I think you need to uh, you need to study the game. You need to study your own game, uh, and that's what I've done. Uh, and, I, and I've sat with uh, you know the backroom staff and the team, and, and you know just asking them what they want sometimes, and, and for me to replicate you know what got me here in the first place, and you know working uh, uh, a lot with them. You know, Keith Keith Burstein as well on, on finishing your first touch and different things like that, crossing set pieces. You need to work on everything uh, because uh, slowly but surely it does come back to you. Uh, with everything, everything's about uh, repercussion. You just need to keep repeating, 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 and exactly, you know, take it one step at a time. Uh, but when you get back in the first team, you know, it's it's quite difficult to do that because you want everything to come quick because you get that little taste for it. Well, the next step, of course, is back in a place you know very well, Elland Road, Leeds United away, all being well, you'll be involved in some form or another tomorrow. How big an incentive was that being on the Yeah, it's, it was one of the first fixtures I looked at uh, and, and thought, you know, if I could be fit for that to try and, you know, get back. And it's, it's, a, it's a time to show, obviously, these Hill fans as well that, you know, I, I'm, I'm one of them and, and I've signed here because, as I said, they've only seen an injured player, basically. Uh, and, you know, I think... Uh, the, the Yorkshire derbies. Uh, I've been on obviously the other side for Leeds, and you know it's it's fast tempo, it's great atmosphere, and as I say, hopefully we can uh, go there and get a, a result. What sort of reception do you expect to get out on the road tomorrow? Oh, you just you just don't know. You you obviously turn up and you, and you see. Uh, I think there's a lot of other stuff going on. Um, uh, Leeds at, at the moment is obviously a frustration for the fans. So. I think you know it, it could be anything really, but uh, I'll, I'll be honest that the, the, my most important thing is is to try and get three points for Hull City. And, and to that end, it's so tight at the top of the Championship table. Having lost last week at Derby, it's very important, isn't it, to get back on that winning trail and keep well getting points as you get on. Well, of course, I think uh, uh, we are we're at the top end of the table. That's where we want to be. And we know uh, we need to uh, work hard and uh, keep on getting the points to stay up there. It's simple as that. Uh, I think uh, the manager stressed on it, touched on it. There's some good sides up there, and you know we know we need to uh, keep in with the pack and uh, and try and you know as I say, like for Saturday, uh, it's a derby, so we got to go there, roll our sleeves up, we're ready for a battle, and try and get maximum points. What sort of game do you expect tomorrow? I think it will be a fast tempo to start off with, uh, and you know I expect uh, Leeds United to come out uh, and show you know uh, as it always is uh, the one team in Yorkshire that's uh, that's a, that's what everybody fights over, um, and you know we'll be no different. We want to go there, win the derby, and try and get three points closer to the top. Best of luck. Thank you. Cheers.